Hey everybody, it's Mike again. I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to transfer licenses and while we're at it, how to do a backup of your Unity Intercom server. So there are two things to consider. When um, In this scenario, we're going to move from one Mac to another. Um, the good news is this is very easy and you can do it yourself. The first thing you'll want to probably do Let's just say that I'm on the old computer or I'm on the, you know, the current one that we're wanting to move off of. We will want to do a backup. We're going to want to click on the icon located in the upper right corner outside of the app itself. It's up by like the Wi-Fi icon and the, and the date and time. We're going to want to click on Unity and we're going to want to go to Save Configuration. This is going to do a backup of all of your users and their passwords and all of the settings that you've input into the Unity server. So we're going to do a backup and you can put it wherever. And we're going to save that onto a jump drive, put it on the network, probably both. And the next thing we need to do is transfer all of our licenses. So um, I've got all these licenses installed and I'm going to want to bring them over to the new computer. Luckily, this is super, super easy and you do this in just one shot. So let's imagine for a moment that we're on the new computer. Basically, go to unityintercom.com, download the latest server on a fresh new Mac, fire it up, then look for the same icon, go to the drop down here, choose transfer licenses from another server. Mine's grayed out because I already have licenses installed, but yours will be, uh, yours, yours will be clickable. So you'll choose transfer licenses from another server and you'll click that. It's going to bring up a little dialog box that's going to say, hey, enter either the serial number of the current Mac computer that you're trying to get the licenses from or any one of your license keys from Unity. Paste that in, hit transfer. Within about five seconds, the licenses that are stored in our cloud database get transferred to this computer and activated and the old computer is deactivated. And the good news is you don't need to, the, the old computer, or I should say the current one, doesn't need to be online. Only the new computer needs to be online. The licenses are all stored in the cloud, so it just brings them, all, it brings them on over. And there's no limit to the amount of times that you can do that. On the new computer, when you, the first thing you'll want to do, of course, is that transfer licenses because it actually won't let you restore that configuration that we just made. It won't let you restore the configuration until it detects a base license. And so the first thing you do, walk over, transfer the licenses, boom, couple of seconds, all the licenses will appear. The next thing you'll do is restore configuration. Um, it's going to ask you to grab the Unity backup and you're just going to restore it from there. So that's it. That's the main deal. Um, once you're past that, uh, of course, you are going to want to think a little bit about the IO configurations. Um, do you have any devices connected, you know, to the computer? How are we going to manage that? Um, and then of course, any port forwarding that's been done so that people can connect to this computer from cellular data or outside the network, we're going to want to consider that as well. Is the global IP address going to change? Um, you know, are, am I going to have to give out new login information for the IP address to different users? So definitely consider that. Make sure you have a plan for that. But the, the actual transferring of the data and the licenses, super, super easy. And uh, thanks, everybody.